Okay, so now we have we have to ask the re reverse question. Okay, which is uh, for every mix strategy. Does there exist an equivalent behavioral strategy? So, let us first do a simple lemma. So, if player i has perfect recall, then for any two nodes x and x dash in the same information set, what can you say about this? Uh, so, but can you tell me why? So, player has perfect recall means what? So, so these are what is gamma i of x? It is the set of pure strategies in which a player i takes actions leading to node x. Hmm? Now, you x dash is another node, all right, but it lies in the same information set as x, okay, uh, in the same information set of player i. So, these two are in the same information set of player i. Now, if these two nodes are in the same information set, then gamma i of x is equal to gamma i of x dash, which means the set of strategies that get you to these two nodes has to be the same. Why is that? Go back to the definition of perfect recall. See, perfect recall was asking that if two nodes are in the same information set and one of them has a precedent predecessor ok. So, x and x dash are in the same information set, x has a predecessor ok, let us call it x bar, then x dash will have another will have a predecessor x uh, x hat suppose and x bar and x hat will be in the same information set and moreover the action that you take here going leading up to x has to be the same as the action that you take leading up to x dash right. Now, what does this mean? That means, if x and x dash are in the same information set of player i, you look at any preceding information set in which say x has some predecessor here, the action that you would take to lead to go up to x is the same as you would take the as you would at x hat right. So, in short this same thing now I can keep repeat, repeating all the way back. So, not just for this predecessor all the other predecessors of x also I will have the same problem essentially. So, I what this means is the fact that I am going to x and the, and the fact that I am going to x dash locks my actions essentially I have the, the if x and x dash are the same they are in the same information set from from root down to here player i should have taken the same sequence of actions to get to these two okay so so consequently it means that the as far as the path going from x uh, going from root to x is concerned and the path going from root to x dash is concerned the same sequence of actions are being chosen on other paths the player can do whatever he wants okay so therefore this is essentially is ensuring that gamma i of x is equal to gamma i of x dash okay, the set of all such uh, pure strategies is actually the same Okay. All right. So this is this is a quick lemma. So now let us uh, let's write out the theorem and hopefully let's see if we can prove this today. Okay. If player i has perfect recall, then for every mixed strategy of player i, there exists an equivalent behavioral strategy. So, for the proof, so first uh, let us set up some more notation. 
So, suppose for any for any node node x and action um, let us say a in uh, let x superscript a be the node that the game reaches when A is played at x. Okay. So, you suppose you have a node and you have an action that is available at that node then uh, so node x and an action a that is available at that at that node then the no, then when you, when the player takes action a the node that the game reaches is denoted by x a x superscript a so now what we want to do is we wa we want to say we want uh, we 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 want to start off with a uh, mixed strategy and show that there is an equivalent behavioral strategy uh, one other little thing related to this let me write this out so can you tell me what is this so if a is an action that player i can take at an information set eta i of x then what is gamma i of x superscript a what is the set of pure strategies can you express this in terms of gamma i x superscript a is the node that the game reaches when a is played at x so can you write the set of pure strategies in which player i takes actions leading up to node uh, leading to node x a now express this in terms of gamma i of x action a at x right exactly so this is gamma i in cap, capital gamma i of x such that gamma i at the information set eta i of x is equal to a ok. So, all those pure strategies which specify this particular action at this information set uh, all those pure strategies from gamma i of x which specify this particular action ok all right. So, this will give us some structure ok all right uh, ok. So, now let so step 1 let sigma i be a mix strategy of player i. Now, what we will do is we will define this in the following way. Uh, we will define a behavioral strategy the behavior probability of taking an action a at an information set eta i this I am I am putting this notation like this because I want you to see that this is actually a conditional probability. So, this is the probability of this is the probability of taking actions leading up to node x a under the mixed strategy sigma i divided the by the probability of taking action uh, of taking actions leading up to node ok. So, so this is eta i and let so here is how I am defining my behavioral strategy. So, for any information set eta i I look at a node x in it ok and I do, I do this I take the ratio of the probability of by that the mixed strategy specifies ok of uh, taking an action leading up to node x a ok x a where a is the action of that of. So, so for a b any inf uh, for an any information set eta i and an action a at that information set the prob the behavioral strategy I am defining is going to do this it is going to give probability this this pro the probability it is going to assign to action a is this. So, it will take the 
it is the ratio of the probability of taking an action leading up to node x a under the mix strategy divided by the probability of taking an action leading up to node x. So, it is essentially the conditional probability given that you have reached uh, node a, node x what is the probability now that you are taking uh, taking action a ok. Because this is the probability of reaching node x and then taking action a this is the probability of reaching node x is this clear hmm? ok. One subtlety here I need to worry about what happens if the denominator is 0 say for example, there is no pure strategy. Uh, so, so rather there is a mixed strategy the mixed strategy I am choosing does not give any pro probability to pure strategies that reach x ok. So, if, if the denominator is 0 then what do I do? So, for that so this is therefore defined only for if denominator is greater than 0. Now, if the denominator is uh, is 0 then what you do is uh, simply choose an action at uh, uniformly at random. So, if this if your denominator which is this summation if the denominator is equal to 0 ok. Now, what here is at least we can complete this one part today which uh, which is this. So, I now I have just constructed a behavioral strategy from this mixed strategy right it specifies this as the probability of taking an action in a certain information set. Now, you do you see something odd in this in this construction. So, there is something very odd actually if you look at it see here on the left hand side I have an information set and on the right hand side I have actually a specific node in the information set which is x and I said I let x x be any node in this information set. So, this is a well defined definition provided the right hand side is actually independent of x because eventually a behavioral strategy should act only on the information set not on the specific node right. So, it has to be invariant with the choice of the no specific node in the information set. So, I need to first show that this is in fact a well defined behavioral strategy because it has to be independent of the choice of x so long as x is in in eta i this clear. So, why is this now independent of of the specific choice of x? So, that needs to be shown ok. So, to fir first to begin with uh, for, for this to be a valid behavioral strategy. So, first let us now take let us take two x and x dash. So, step two showing that B i is a valid behavioral strategy. So, now if let suppose x comma x dash are in the same information set if x comma x dash are in the same information set what did we just conclude player i has perfect recall ok. So, we just concluded that we just concluded this we also said that this this particular way of expressing gamma i of x a right. So, consequently what happens is if you look at this denominator here if I replace x by x dash this denominator is going to be in the same because gamma i of x is equal to gamma i of x dash and in fact numerator is also going to be the same right ok. So, this follows from the lemma. So, therefore, this in eta i then this follows from the lemma all right good. So, now this this means that it is in fact uh, a function of just the information set. I also need to argue that this is in fact a behavioral strategy which means that if I sum this over a I should get 1 ok. It is clearly greater than equal to 0 I need to show that also need to show that sum of b i of a given eta i a in u i eta i this is equal to 1. How do I argue that? That is actually again straightforward from the definition of gamma i of x a 
we 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 also need to show as i said we also need to show that this sums to 1 and the reason this sums to 1 all for that all i need to argue is uh, that the numerator when i sum numerator depends on a the denominator does not depend on a okay here uh, this numerator depends on a denominator does not if i sum the numerator i should get back the denominator right okay that's all i am looking for so that is actually easy to argue basically what I have is remember if I have two distinct actions A and uh, let us say A dash. So these are say two distinct actions then this is uh, this uh, or rather why distinct actions if I in fact I do the following this if I take the union of all of these over all A in my action set at at uh, the information set uh, eta i, this is a disjoint union equal to gamma i of x. So, for distinct actions, these are these are disjoint. For distinct a, right? So, if you take because after all, at eta i, I am asking you to take an action a. If the actions don't match, then obviously the so, uh, pure strategies will be dis, uh, different. So, this this gamma i of x a actually uh, it is uh, if I you take the union over a it is actually a disjoint union and uh, that uh, gives you gamma i of x. So, that from here it follows that therefore, that the um, if I sum the numerator over a this is in fact equal to the sum over this is in fact equal to the denominator itself ok all right. So, this is just established that we have a valid behavioral strategy ok. Step 3 is this. So, suppose x x i 1 to x i l i x suppose these are are the nodes at which player i acts leading to x ok. Now, if I look at the let us say the l plus 1th node in this, this is actually nothing but the, the so the pure strategies in which player i takes actions leading up to node x i l plus 1 is actually nothing but the pure strategies in which player i takes actions leading to node l and then takes action the the action specific the action that takes you from uh, x i l to x i l plus 1 right so this a where a is equal to a uh, a i of x i l going to x i l plus 1 ok all right ok. Now, let us just calculate this probability and that is that will be it. So, probability of reaching node x under a behavioral strategy b i this probability is equal to the probability now of taking the uh, the required actions the probability of taking action a i of this is the probability of taking action leading to node x at the information set eta i of x i l under the behavioral strategy b i where beha behavioral strategy b i was defined in in this through this whole this whole formula here ok through this two case by case formula ok. So, then this uh, so now, now there are uh, there are actually two cases one in which the denominator is 0 the other is denominator is not 0 let us just do the denominator not equal to 0 case because that 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 is the more complicated one. The denominator equal to 0 is actually kind of degenerate and it works out easily ok. So, 
So, this therefore is summation of gamma i of capital gamma i So, let me denote this guy here by um, a l ok a l is the action the action that you take at node l going to um, node l plus 1. So, a l is here ok. So, this is a l So, so this is just substitution so far, but notice that ga the, pro the, the uh, what is the set of pure strategies uh, in which you take actions leading to node x i l plus 1, it is the pure strategies where you uh, leading to x where you take actions leading to x i l and then take action a, uh, a l at that node at x i l. So, what is going to happen is you have actually this product now over l. But then the numerator and denominator of consecutive terms are going to be equal. You are going to get cancellations. You you so the this here is the for for any l is actually going to be the numerator of the next term, right? Because you keep you keep you are you keep on dividing by the uh, the probability of reaching a, a particular node, and then in the next step you have probability of reaching that node divided by the probability uh, uh, probability of reaching the previous node, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you this actually telescopes and eventually what you are left with is equal to the probability of, so you are going to be left with this summation, you are going to left with ga summation gamma i in capital gamma i of x because that is the last node you reach. That is the last node divided by sum over gamma i of the probability of uh, of gamma i let us say x i 1. Now, the, so you have so what you are left with is this this term where the numerator is the probability of take of taking actions leading up to the node x that you are concerned with. Denominator is to, uh, taking uh, the probability of taking actions up to the first node where you act and what is that? That is actually this uh, the set of all this gamma i of x i 1 is actually the set of all pure strategies because this is the first time you act right. So, this is actually the set of all pure strategies. So, the denominator is in fact this whole thing is in fact equal to 1 and so therefore, you get that the numerator this so the probability of. So, what we get is that uh, the probability of reaching node x under behavioral strategy bi is equal to probability of reaching node x under under sigma i. This remember is nothing but the probability of uh, so, so we get rather let us say we get this. And this is nothing but this probability that is all ok. So, that is all there is uh, there is to it. So, this this ensures that we have uh, that uh, for every mixed strategy there is actually a behavioral strategy. So, you can see the main thing we used is is really this lemma to be honest perfect recall what it ensures is is basically this you know that is that is all that is being used. All right.